This video follows on directly from the introductory video I made on implicit differentiation. And we're now going to apply implicit differentiation to finding the equation of the normal to that curve there. So this is an exam question from January 2008. Still very relevant. Uh, it says find the equation of the normal to the curve x cubed plus 4x squared y plus y cubed equals 6. Now in these questions, what I will always do is scan the function for products because it's going to save us a lot of work in the long run if we do the product rule first. So are there any that need the product rule? Yes, I can see that 4x squared y is the product of two functions. So I'm going to need to use the product rule for that. So the first term in the product is 4x squared, which means that the differential of u, u dash, is 8x. v equals y, which means that v dash equals, well, we differentiate y, we get 1, then multiply that by dy by dx, because we've just differentiated a y to get that. Applying the product rule, we get the differential is v u dash, so 8 xy plus uv dash plus 4x squared dy by dx. So we've done the product first, now let's differentiate the whole thing. So we're not going to write dy by dx equals, it would be wrong to do that. We can only do that when the function says y equals, it's defined implicitly, so we're going to have to just differentiate both sides. So what we can write is differentiating both sides with respect to x. So differentiate the left hand side, first term x cubed differentiates to 3x squared plus, and we've already done the product rule, we anticipated having a bit of in-depth working to do, so we've already done that, plus 8xy plus 4x squared dy by dx plus differentiating y cubed we get 3y squared but because we've just differentiated a y we need to multiply by dy by dx equals and the differential of 6 is 0 any number differentiates to 0 right so we've got that now we're going to take all the non dy by dx terms over to the, uh, over to the right hand side to get 4x squared dy by dx plus 3y squared dy by dx equals minus 3x squared minus 8xy. Factorising out dy by dx, we get dy by dx bracket 4x squared plus 3y squared equals minus 3x squared minus 8xy. And then dividing through by 4x squared plus 3y squared, we get dy by dx equals minus 3x squared minus 8xy over 4x squared plus 3y squared, which at the point 1, 1, sub y equals 1 and x equals 1 in, is equal to minus 3 1 squared minus 8 times 1 times 1 all over 4 1 squared plus 3 lots of 1 squared equals minus 11 over 7 so that's the gradient of the tangent therefore the gradient of the normal is the negative reciprocal of that, which is 7 elevenths. So going further than that, we now know a point on the line. Our point is 1, 1. Our gradient is 7 elevenths. Therefore, subbing in at the general equation of a straight line, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 multiplying by 11 we get 11y minus 11 equals 7x minus 1 which means that 
11y minus 11 equals 7x minus 7. Almost there. Then given it in the correct form, it wants it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, with a being c integers. So let's take the 11y over to the other side, which means that 7x, take 11y, let's add this 11 over to the other side as well, plus 4 equals 0. Now any acceptable answer would be an integer multiple of this. So you can have minus 7x plus 11y minus 4 equals 0. You could have the same equation doubled. Any integer multiple is an acceptable answer. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to alevelmathsrevision.com.